welcome back to our channel. So this episode, we're leaving Port Lincoln now and we're making our way to Coffin Bay. It's only 40 minutes up the road, so it's a nice, easy drive. So this afternoon, we've booked in to do a oyster tour, which yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. I don't know what I think about oysters. We're not the biggest fans, but maybe Coffin Bay with the super fresh oysters will turn us. And we're just hoping, fingers crossed, that we can get the boat out. Yeah, with some good weather. Uh, but the bays there are really protected. Um, and there's heaps of little um, places to explore. So hopefully we can. We're just on our way for an oyster tour. So it's just an hour and a half tour, I think. And we have to eat oysters, which <laughs> yeah, we don't like. like. You guys know that we <laughs> love oysters. <laughs> Am I eating this now? You are. <laughs> you are. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> These are hella fresh. Yeah, like straight, and then you like clean them in the ocean. Tinny is going in today. How do we feel? Yeah, nervous, but nervous. excited. It's really, really beautiful around here. Yeah, it was windier yesterday, but calmer. <laughs> we got down today and it's a little bit choppy, but nothing bad and we'll see how we go. I think we might be the world's worst fisherman. <laughs> Josh just caught some rod and nicked me. <laughs> oh my god. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Did it hurt? <laughs> like just around my neck. <laughs> We've pretty much um, lost all our bait and fish when you can just uh, pull up to a beach like this, hey? It's better than fishing, isn't it right, team? <laughs> that last section coming back was so choppy. Now we've got to get like back through that to the boat ramp. That's all right. It's all part of the time. Come check it out.
is this spot? This is awesome. So we just went with the tinny up to here. We went up to another one that I did get footage of, but has, what are the fish called? Uh, razor fish. Razor clams. fish. So yeah. obviously South Australia's answer to stonefish. Says you can lose limbs from them. <laughs> um, so we kept driving around and yeah, it's like the shallows here. So we just put it in and then have this whole beach. One family member is refusing to leave this beach. terrifying thing you feel like you're gonna have some confrontation because someone's in your site and we cannot find our site right now we've had to like go up to people and they get defensive that they think you're telling them off this is messed up it is so so windy and we're cliff edge and we just went into the caravan and it's literally just like swaying mm. we don't have any service because I was going to search up, has anyone's pop-top roof ever blown off? I, I don't even have pop-top, like, I don't even care, like, we just won't put the pop-top up. <laughs> but, like, like, this is pretty cool, I'll try. It's a really nice spot, though. It's, like, very nice. If it wasn't windy. Oh, yeah, and it's really hard to get, like, level on this side. So, uh, we'll just fall down a cliff and die. <laughs> tonight so we've got this little spot here it's on cliff edge over here we were driving in a little bit concerned because they had said something about being four-wheel drive only and like don't take vans down certain roads oh this is a bit weird look at this It's gonna get me. So we're camped up on this on the cliff edge and the only way to get down is by this rickety ladder here. And there's the cliff edge there. I don't think I'm gonna attempt this one. So we just 
left our free campsite. It was really good. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Really beautiful. Yeah, I think the only bit is I don't know if you can swim. I think people do. You've just got to climb down that ladder. Um, so for us, it wasn't hot, so it was a nice spot. But I'm sure, like when it's 40 degrees in summer, I don't know how enjoyable it would be and how busy it would get. It was a windy day, but we were hidden from it. But I feel like it also can get would be able to get very windy. Yeah, you probably fall off the cliff. Yes. Um, but now we're just making our way. We're not sure where we're going to stay tonight. Uh, we're making our way to Alliston, the town. Um, and then I think we're looking at Walker's Rocks to stay tonight. But it's $20 a night, which seems a bit outrageous. Otherwise, we can uh, stay at the local golf club for $10 a night. Um, so we'll just get to the town and then decide from there what we're going to do. Little update, we got to Walker's Rock for our campsite for the night and realised that we forgot to empty the toilet and get gas while we stopped through the town. So now we've put our toilet in the car, which the last time that we did this and drove somewhere, it leaked through the entire car. We just walked inside and we could hear these strange noises. So we put Gigi in and we just walked out to see what was happening with the... Um, beach and we could hear these noises and I turned the light on and Gigi has taken our food from up here and has eaten all of our chili con carne. Gigi, no! That's devastating. That's a whole meal. Far out. Gigi, say sorry gonna wrap this video up here we've just made it to streaky bay and ready for palubi tomorrow for the next few nights hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks guys Bye.